An unsettling amount of fear for an Oklahoma family. It's like a nightmare. After an annual hunting trip turned into a trip of terror, Alvy Webb's family tells News 4 the 86-year-old from Muldrow vanished somewhere in the Colorado mountains. There's no trace of him. They have not found a boot print. Hello, beasts of YouTube. In today's video, we are going to cover the strange disappearance of Ella V. Webb. Webb was a former principal and teacher living in Mildrow, Oklahoma. Ella v. would go missing on an elk hunting trip in the Colorado wilderness in the Divide Road Roaring Fork area of the San Juan National Forest. The morning of October 19, 2019, Ella v. disappeared without a trace. No evidence has been found in about the last year and a half, and the case remains unsolved. With that said, let's jump into the case. Alavi, accompanied by his son, grandson, and other family members, camped near Road 564A. They had elk hunted in that area for the previous five years. On October 19th, Alavi's family took him 100 yards down a trail where he had hunted the previous year and liked to sit and hunt, and left him alone. They told him, quote, Now we'll pick you up at the bottom of the hill on the road around 1 o'clock. The family hunting party returned to check on him several hours later, but they could not locate him. There was no sign of him or his belongings. They searched the area where he was meant to be, but found nothing. They then contacted the authorities at around 4 p.m. and a large search effort was started at around 5 p.m. Alavi was wearing an orange stocking cap and orange hunting vest over a heavy camouflage jacket. He did have a few food bars and water, but no overnight gear. The search included Montezuma County Search and Rescue, Montezuma County Sheriff's Deputies, K-9 Search and Rescue, Flight for Life Colorado, Mesa Verde Civil Air Patrol, Colorado National Guard Black Hawk Helicopter, and Family and Friends. They had also put up drones a night that were flare capable, but no heat signatures were detected. Montezuma County Sheriff Steve Nolan said, quote, We looked all over and searched a large area 30 yards at a time but there was no sign of him, no clues. We had people 30 feet apart, and that's mostly Aspen Meadows in that area. We cross-covered areas we had already been over. We should have found him, but there was no sign of him anywhere. It's frustrating. Nobody's finding anything." Unquote. Elevy did have a cell phone, but it was turned off or the battery ran down on Friday, October 18th. On Monday, Sheriff Nolan said 25 searchers were searching the area in a grid pattern. About 9 or 9.30, someone said they thought they heard a muffled gunshot, but there were signs of animals being killed." Unquote. The official search ended, but family and friends continued to search the area with no result. Webb had some trouble walking and was not expected to hike a long distance. Nolan said, It's so puzzling why he could not be located after an intense search in the vicinity of the trail. Friends and family reported he did not have any disabilities and that he was very mentally alert. His mind is still probably as sharp as mine. He told his son to pick him up at the bottom in a few hours, but when 10 a.m. rolled around, they didn't see him again. No sign of Webb, and his family came up empty when they retraced his steps looking for clues. Since then, rescue teams are clinging to all resources, search dogs, and helicopters. Over the weekend, the temperature's in the teens. With cell phone service slim and the clock ticking, Webb's family is praying for a miracle. Pray that he can be found. Nolan said he didn't think Webb would have walked very far. The altitude at that location is about 9,500 feet, and he said Webb had only been there a couple of days before going off hunting 
and had not had time to acclimate to the thinner air. He also said that there had been a dusting of snow in that area Sunday morning. This is another very strange disappearance of a hunter in the woods. Did Alavi just walk off from his original spot or fall off a cliff? Doesn't seem likely since he had trouble walking. Also, if that was the case, he probably wouldn't have made it far and would have been found quickly. He was very familiar with the area, having hunted there for many years before. It would be hard for him to get lost. Did he accidentally get shot by other hunters and carried off the scene? Was that gunshot sound the key to his disappearance? Seems unlikely that it had something to do with Alavi's disappearance since it was heard a couple days after he went missing. If it had been heard before he went missing, it'd be a different story. Also, it seems like if that happened, they would have found something like a bullet casing or some blood. This case does seem to have a lot of ties to a missing 411 case. He was older and had trouble walking, but then just seems to vanish from the earth and nothing was found, not even his clothing. My thoughts go out to the family and hopefully some new evidence will be found to reopen the case. What do you guys think happened to Alavi Webb? Let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe.